Steve Milhausen here at Bellator 60. We're here with Bellator featherweight champion Joe Warren as he'll be facing Pat Curran on Friday night. Did you feel it was a mistake going down the bandway considering that you were the featherweight champion? Uh, no, I'm a featherweight champion, but I plan on being a bantamweight champion also. So for me, I was seeing uh, big things, you know, two belts, excited to be able to get an opportunity to have both of them. Uh, yeah, things went bad, but that's, you know, just a bump in the road. I'm focused on winning, keeping my belt here on Friday, and then um, see what happens at bantamweight. Did you underestimate Vila going into the fight? Oh, no. Uh, Lexi Vila is one of the best wrestlers ever to compete. You understand? Uh, he's won more than any U.S. guy has, you know, or, or there's, there's people that match him, but he's as good as it gets. So, no, I did not underestimate him. I might have underestimated his left hook, though. You know, uh, got a little overextended and got caught. So, um, you know, shit happens, and uh, we just move forward from it. You know, I think Alexi's a great person, a great warrior, but, you know, I think I'm the champion, and I think that, um, you know, in this sport, you never know what can happen, you know. What did you learn from the loss? I just learned a, a lot of things, you know, not to be more uh, get overextended on punches, make sure my chin's down, my hands are up. Just little things that a lot of fighters know before they get into those fights. Uh, but I just, um, I've been jumped so deep into the fighting, uh, f you know, feet first into fighting that I've been having to learn during live competition instead of, comp uh, instead of practicing. So I learned a, a tough lesson in front of a lot of people. We haven't heard a lot about you competing still in the 2012 Olympics. Are you still going to try to make the team? Oh yes, definitely. Uh, I'm going to. I'm not sure if I'm going to compete at 60 or 66 at the Olympic team trials, Iowa City, April 20th. But I will be there competing. Uh, try to make this team. What is the one thing you can take from your Olympic training that you can take into fighting? Oh geez, uh, as an Olympian, uh, you are a warrior. You learn how to deal with ups and downs, deal with rough parts of matches and being able to refocus and come back. It's really hard to um, fight a person that's an Olympian or has been in Olympics the way that they train for those fights. You know, so uh, that warrior aspect and that mindset, uh, that's what you get from the Olympic team. What do you make of a lot of people saying that Ped is the favorite in this fight considering you are coming off a loss? Yeah, you know, I mean, everyone's a favorite fighting me, you know, so not 100% worried about uh, favorites or who's this or that. You know, I'm focused on a game plan, my game plan, pushing forward and making this uh, my fight, making it more of a war. Um, not 100%, I, I'm not worried at all about who thinks I'm going to win or not. I know I'm going to win and I know uh, my, I'm trained and ready to go for this fight. So I'm going to put everything out on the table and try to get this win for everybody. You feel underappreciated by the media and the public? No, jeez. I believe the media has been my biggest fan. You know, um, I'm, be, I'm good behind the camera, and uh, you guys are good to me. So, I mean, um, it's ups and downs in the media, too. If you, if you plan on being a star, there's going to be ups and downs in the media, too. So I just try to keep a smile on my face and keep pushing forward. What do you think of Pat as a fighter? I think he's a great fighter, skillful fighter. He's got he's skillful everywhere on the, on his feet, on the ground, everything like that. We see how his wrestling is, uh, but you know I don't really care what kind of fighter he is. He's just a body in front of me to get through to keep this belt. What do you think you have more advantages in the fight than Pat? Well, I I, I don't. Uh, I guess I haven't really said I have this advantage or that. I'm better wrestler, better conditioning, and more of a warrior. So when this uh, fight gets into a war, I believe I'm winning this fight. How have you been able to think about he's got the home crowd advantage? Have you done anything in particular to kind of block, you know, mentally prepare for that? No, you got to remember, I'm a champion, man. Uh, I'm not worried about uh, where I fight or who I fight in front of. I'm worried about just the person in front of me in the cage. Um, I don't see it as a home field advantage for him just because he's got 40 miles on my hometown. You know, I mean, my hometown's 100 miles from here. So I feel like I this is more of my uh, home crowd advantage than anyone else. What is your hometown? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, is yeah. it Michigan State? Go blue, baby. I went to Michigan. Okay, so <laughs> why, watch that. Okay, so, yeah, I'm a I'm a Wolverine. I was an All-American there, and um, then moved to Olympic Training Center. So I grew up in Michigan, winning state championships there. Went to University of Michigan, so I'm 100% go blue. How far is Michigan going in the NCAA tournament? I believe they're going to win it. You know, I, I mean, I I don't even know if it's possible, but I know I'm 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 rooting for them 110%. You've been working with Uriah Faber and Team Alpha Male. Are you going to be helping Uriah at all while you're also training for the Olympic trials during the Ultimate Fighter? Yeah, you know, I think maybe me and Scott Jorgensen might go out for two or three days, help the crew out there. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're good friends and the Team Alpha Male guys, uh, you know, I love those guys. I say thank you every single time. Uh, I go out there and just push it hard for a few weeks and really test myself, see where I'm at. You know, I feel they have the best lightweight camp in the world and um, I'm honored for me to be an honorary Alpha Male guy. How do you see the fight playing out on Friday night? 
yeah, I, I, I see the fight being a war. I see two, bat, two warriors getting in there and battling, and I see this warrior with his hand up high and keeping that belt when it's done. Joel, the best of luck on Friday. Thank you. Appreciate it.